This is Mario Central reporting to you live here at Rilgum Tower, and even though this isn't live, I like saying it because it's cool. And here, as you can see, we are leveled up to the max. What I did was, off screen, I challenged the whole mount battle, and man is it good experience. In the end, you end up getting a time flute, so that's your third time flute. There are three time flutes in the game. Do not waste them. I'm going to use them on the three people I plan to replace. And one, as you already know, is Heracross, and the other two, we'll find out. As you can see, Espeon here learned Morning Sun at level 52 around. Pearl, uh, using the coupons, I got the uh, Poke coupons, I exchanged it for a TM Psychic, instead of having Shadow Ball. Then here, as you can see, he only has one attack, and that's Moonlight. And this, with Perry, I decided to give him Ice Beam. And you're probably wondering why Umbreon only has one attack. Well, Umbreon doesn't have a lot of power, it makes sense to have one attack. It makes sense to also poison and confuse the guy, then heal up. I mean, that's just that's just vintage Umbreon. And then Perry, the reason I got rid of flies, even though it's same type attack bonus, Perry doesn't have a lot of attack in this form. Usually it does, but in my case, the nature didn't compensate for that, and it's more of a special attacker, and I feel like giving it Ice Beam because it's going to really help it out against those dragons. Altaria is the reason I still have Dragon Dance, if you're wondering why is because I like the speed boost and that will that will be really good to use against other dragons so Altaria will just have a clear advantage over other dragons in fact Altaria was the one that single-handedly helped me at Mount Battle because it it was it was a tough battle the, the last guy's name is Somek he was quite tough but because of Altaria and her ice beam it just really helped things out so you know it's it's a good move for her to learn and I'm glad I taught it to her <laughs> and here we go finally entering into the first Four battles, this is what will be interesting. There are six battles in all, so, oh my god, I, I'm too stoked for this. This is why I've leveled up, you'll see a big reason why I did that. And let's get the dialogue started! What kept you, Wesley? A word that perhaps Gonzap had beaten you. The time has come for you to pay off some debts. We'll have you battle as payment towards the huge losses you inflicted on us. I expect to see spectacular battling out of you. After all, you're here to entertain. Ah ha ha ha! Damn you, Nascor! Stop hiding in whatever spot you're sitting in that randomly generated crowd. It's just like Undercity all over again. You have this crowd that's just like, ah, what does he belong? A crowd like this, it's a little intimidating. We don't want to be embarrassed here, so I'll battle to win. Well, let's see what you got, bodybuilder Jomas. Jeez. Okay. But this is how this is going to work. Now, I will split up the video according to how I want to do it, how things end up, because even I don't know yet, because obviously I cannot predict the future. I've practiced this once. I have, I will admit, I practiced this, I practiced this once, just so I can see how I can do. And to be honest, most of the captures went well. It was just one I could not capture, and we'll get to that in a second. But, um... Generally, you know, you, you see their Pokemon, they're around 46, 48, that's generally how high level they are, the first four trainers, but the last two trainers are quite overpowered, and you'll see what I mean when we get to them. But these four, for now, I'm going to be fine, because my Pokemon are about 12 levels higher. The only thing that's going to be hard about this, and that's why I have a lot of items, as you saw when I was briefing through the item screen, uh, is catching the Shadow Pokemon. The Shadow Pokemon aren't easy to catch. They are actually very, very difficult. And what can eventually happen is they just start wiping out my team. So slowly and slowly, I'll start to just heal up guys while I'm just catching the Shadow Pokemon alone. And it's just going to only be used for these first four rounds because you cannot heal in between. You can only heal during the fight. So that is really annoying. And to catch all the Shadow Pokemon, which take an extremely long time to catch sometimes, and they can just devastate you with their power. Because honestly, these guys are level 48. They can still do some great power against these guys, which are 57. Because especially one, he learns Swords Dance and Howl, and those aren't good at all. They get those across, they can just Shadow Rush you all day long, and you'll eventually go down to each and every one of them. So it's really, you gotta be very careful. But that's how these battles are gonna go. You cannot heal, you cannot switch your first two ever. The only time you'll heal is after the fourth battle, they'll automatically heal all of your Pokemon, so that is good. But, you know, it's still, to catch these Shadow Pokemon, there are going to be six in all of these, so that's a lot to get for you. But the first four are going to be really annoying because you cannot heal, and you have to constantly fight back. So it really is a bit challenging, but if you're, if you did all the stuff that I did, did the Colosseums, all three Colosseums, 
did, th did them at the appropriate times and also did mount battle, then you should be fine for all of these six trainers. Because they did throw a challenge at you here, I'm not gonna lie. This is the one time I've actually been really, really challenged. And the only reason is because, again, capturing the Shadow Pokemon is a pain. Mill Tank, as I <laughs> should probably explain before I uh, <laughs> forget about him. Mill Tank is a beast. You know, he's just really, really irritating to fight. You know, anyone would know that if you've played Pokemon Silver, Gold, anything, and the Gym Leader Whitney. Even in the anime, Mill Tank was tough. Mill Tank is a beast. He has high physical defense, high power. I think he has bad special defense, which is why I'm very hesitant to. to attack with any other move but Body Slam, just so I can paralyze it and then hopefully catch it with an Ultra Ball. But, no tanks a beast. For a single evolution, it's pretty damn good. It's kind of like... It's got a lot of speed too, which is funny because of how fat he is. Because it's a cow. But... <laughs> it's still pretty fast. Don't underestimate it. Oh, wow. And don't underestimate its speed. It's actually pretty good. So, I mean, it's, it's a nice choice. Definitely, if you can work around the special defense issue, and it's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, only, only having a weakness of fighting. These are one of those normal types that I can recommend because he's just so damn good. He can do a lot. But unfortunately, you need to teach him TMs. He does not learn a lot on his own, which can be a problem for many. At this generation. I think it improves as it gets along in generations. But as the same, at the same time, all Pokemon kind of get better and kind of get worse as the generation furthers. Because, like, some Pokemon took a major hit in 4th generation, 5th generation, and even this generation. So, I mean, it depends from generation to generation! No! So close, I know. I know! Stop rubbing it in! Jeez. I think that's the last time I'm going to use it. Because I have a feeling it's going to resort to Shadow Rush soon, after it's done roll out. And, what is this, this last one? Oh, no! Not, yeah, not now! Oh. That wasn't meant to be! No to Bollard! Oh well. Shoot! Okay, so there goes one of my guys. I think... Uh, while I'm battling, I'll just revive them real quick. I want all six of them alive, at least for the first round. Cause, oh, that's just marvelous! I don't want to send an Espeon now. <laughs> so, I'm just going to continue to try to catch it. Damn, why did it have to wipe out my... my... I didn't think it was gonna, like, I know rollout increases every time it's used, but I didn't think, I thought Hariyama would be at red health, not none. So, that surprised me, to say the least. <laughs> Get in the ball! Stupid mill tank, god, he, I never had this problem before, even in my practice file, I actually caught quite easily. And, yeah, alright, there's one down, five more to go, but three more, I guess, harder ones to go. What? That wasn't supposed to happen! Well, it happened, and it happened thusly. So, too bad. <laughs> Let's see who's next. I always like this, you know, they just bring trainer to trainer, and you're just standing there being like, I'm awesome, I'm gonna take you all down, and you suck. <laughs> and all the crowd's just like, Ooh, I wanna see blood! My turn next! This guy's eager. What's his name? Ryder Delon. Okay, Delon. Or Delon. Or Delon. I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> And here, he has an Abzol and a Sharpedo. This guy specializes in dark types. So, I, I'm i going to retreat Potter. I'll probably throw up one Reflect, probably, and then and then uh, call him back, because Potter's not going to be good for this one bit. Or should I, uh, I think I should just call him back now before he dies. <laughs> that would be the... Uh, I'm think, yeah, I think I'm just going to call him back. Go for lead so he can resist. Lead's always good for these because he can just stand up to anything. Now, Abzol is the one I've been talking about. Abzol is a pain to catch. And that, that is why if I do not catch him now, I'm not going to worry about it. This is going to be one of those chan This is going to be one of those Pokémon that I just don't care if they die. And if they if they uh, get caught or not because I can always come back and catch them. Although it is advised to catch all of these guys now because you're gonna have to do this over again if you want to catch these guys so it's quite a pain but I don't mind it for this fool because right now Abzol is freaking annoying Abzol has a very low capture rate it's not that low I think it's like 25 or 45 or something like that and you know what's annoying about Abzol is because he's so weak not in weeks in terms of power weak in terms of defense 
So I don't like to hit it all that much. And when I do, it just devastates him, which is much more than I expect sometimes. Absol can be great if, you know, you don't, if uh, someone ignores him somehow. Because, you know what makes Absol good? It's the sheer fact of Sword Stance. You can get Sword Stance even once with Absol. And Absol, are you serious, Absol? A critical hit did that much, a faint attack, from an Umbreon that has no power. That's what I mean! This is why I hate Absol. You cannot attack this guy. He's so fragile, oh my goodness. Man, I can't even attack him again. I wanted to paralyze him, and now I have no choice. Now, Absol, again, about a capture rate about 25-45, so not the easiest thing to catch. Mill Tank had about the same capture rate, but it caught pretty easily. But that's because it was paralyzed. This time, I can't even do that. Oh, this is the one I had trouble on in practice, and I didn't even bother catching it, and it might happen again, because he might finish off himself, which I don't rightly care, and this is exactly what I mean. He doesn't even shake twice. Damn it! Okay, I'll take care of Mariana, and then finish this thing. Oh my god. Absol, as I said, if you can work around him being so fragile and defenseless and have somehow activate Swords Dance before you die, because it's more than likely, and that was a lucky critical, you stupid. <clears throat> it's more than lucky, likely that someone will hit, will take you down Absol before you even get the chance to do Swords Dance. But that depends on, on how smart the guy is. Uh, double battles, you can avoid that really well, and Absol can be a good doubles guy, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> But, um, you know, he just, once he gets Sword Stance going, there's no stopping him. He's quite devastating if he gets that going. So, be sure to take him out as fast as you can. But, if you want him on your party, go right ahead. Me, just, I'm not a big fan of Absol. I wouldn't mind using him, but I just, it, it's not one of those great, uh, single evolutions. Nah, it really isn't. Not like Mischievous or, or, uh, Mil Tank or Skarmory. For those guys, like, those guys are better, in my opinion. You know, everyone has different opinions. That's the thing. Like, I'm not a Pokemon expert or anything. I'm just a guy that's playing them and just giving my opinions on what I think is best. But I'm not a Pokemon expert at all. I mean, I'm far from it. I'm still learning. There's probably lots of you that are being like, "Oh my God, this guy knows nothing." Well, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't partly blame you because I really. I'm not an expert on Pokemon. I just like playing them. <laughs> I just like playing the games and doing it for fun. So, that's how it goes. Go! Okay, catch! Absol, get in! No! Yes! Yo! Do! Absol! Rats. Okay, I'll definitely send back Potter. I just wanted him to get up Reflect. Oh, God, this is gonna be painful. Damn you, Absol! Why do you have to be so annoying? Just capture you, dumb! Okay. Shoot! Ah, oh, man, I don't know how long this is gonna take. Alright, last chance, last chance indeed. Oh man, I hope it captures. Uh, or else, you know what, I'm just gonna let it kill itself and I'm gonna move on because I don't want to deal with this any longer. Get in the ball once and for all. This has been long enough. I'm pretty sure the tire ball should work. Look at that, it says at a sliver of health, unless it does Swords Dance again, then it's not, and it didn't even shake twice. That is just brilliant, damn it, you Absol. I cannot believe that. And now, I never usually have this much of a problem capturing Absol. As I said, usually capturing Shadow Pokemon in this game is a lot harder than the real thing. So, I, I don't care. Absol, you're dead. I don't care. It's not like you're going to be on my team. So, I really don't care. I'm sorry. I don't. Alright, guys, so... So far, we've caught one of two. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's hope that the rest don't turn out like this, but who knows? It's Shadow Pokemon, for God's sakes.